Don't even use results to evaluate anything with any talk with talk. Like, how can you do one thing? It gives you one bad result, and you say, let's do it again. What kind of mumu is that? You keep playing with your children's future. How many chances are you going to get? I don't understand our people. If you do one thing, it doesn't work. Try the one that you have never tried before. Because that is a path to your savior, to, to, your, to your progress. Because any nation that has succeeded in this world, they didn't go about repeating the past. Everybody has to craft their own path in this life. You are not other countries, but you can use some metrics to measure the direction you are heading. If you have tried separation before, it didn't work. You, you want to try it again. If you have tried uh, tribalism, it didn't work. It didn't, you have not learned anything from that. We were colonized, uh, enslaved. What and what else are you going to? Well, are you going to count all the things we've been through? Look at our country. Look at the most of most black countries around us. Look at how poor they all are. Are we even looking at it? Are we seeing the true world we live in? While other people live, live in very nice accommodation, nice power supply, good roads, everything they live, they have all those things. We still have. We are still one of the defecating cap uh, capitals of the world. Uh, most of may love our people will see shit outside. We can't build anything. It's also many of us want to go overseas and get education there. Many of us not not because the the education that we want to. We want to go and stay there. Let's not make any mistake. All these people that are telling you that's education, they are lying. At least fifty to eighty percent of them are lying. They love Oyibo people, they want to go there and stay. I was like that. So I know their mindset. All this lie, they lie to themselves, thinking that they are coming here for education. They are not coming here. They are abandoning their homes. They are abandoning their homes to go and serve other people. So thinking that that is going to lead them to progress. Let me tell you something. Break, flash, news flash. There is nothing you are going to do there that is going to matter. There is nothing I'm going to do here now that will matter. My seed, my children, my children's children, they are, going, they, are going, they are all going to disappear in time. Nobody, if my children remain here, have children here, and their children have children here, in 10 generations, nobody will ever look like me anymore. In 10 generations, nobody will ever look like my grandparents anymore. In 10 generations, nobody's going to look like my great-grandparents. You are gone. From the genetic lineage, you are gone. You are dying, but you are dying slowly. There's a reason why people protect their heritage and we don't value life. And that's another part of our, my, our mentality. We don't value life at all. Which is strange. As a matter of fact, we don't even value anything. Not only life. We are like Esau. We've been given everything. We don't value anything. We don't. And I, and I see that. I work with Nigerians every day. And I see that every day. A Nigerian that doesn't have anything... If you look at the way they want to waste stuff at the same time, it will scare you. I will ask, why would you want to waste this stuff when this stuff is worth five times your salary? While an Oyibo man that has the same thing will preserve that thing after using it and still sell it to make even more profit. And they have more. So it tells you that there is a way we perceive the world, we take the world for granted. And maybe that's why we are where we are.